Hello and welcome back to In The Kitchen With Pen and today I'm making a cake. I knew you were coming so I made a cake. No, no actually Steve said oh you need to try a cake in the new Ninja Mega Zone so that's what I'm doing and he suggested, suggested, mm, said make a lemon drizzle as that's one of his favourites but I thought mm, yeah I can do that, that'd be a good idea but I'll up the ante a bit so I'm doing a lemon and blueberry drizzle cake so let's run you through the ingredients in my bowl I have 175 grams of sugar 175 grams of butter 200 grams of self-raising flour the zest of two lemons half a teaspoon of baking powder to which I'm going to add two eggs no I'm not I'm going to add three eggs see I'm fibbing to you already three eggs and a teaspoon of vanilla if I can open the vanilla which I can right this is vanilla bean paste and it is delicious stuff I mean I don't know if you can see but there's the actual bits of the pod in there too it's amazing so there's my vanilla a little bit more because hey ho why not and what else me three eggs so we'll get those in and then all we do is we whisk we beat it all together so one now really crack your eggs into a separate container because if any of these eggs are bad I've lost all of this but I'm trusting that they're not and indeed they are not. So, let's just clear up a little, clear some space and I'm now going to just whisk this all together and I'm using my Ninja three in one blender with the whisk with the uh, beaters attached I'm just going to whisk until it's all together so what I'll do is I'm going to carry on doing this and we'll be back when it's done that literally took seconds and we are almost ready but normally I wouldn't preheat an air fryer but when I'm making a cake I just think it will work better if I do preheat so I'm going to take out the divider and pop my oops that's not straight is it going on here all right well that one seems mm, okay maybe that goes in all oh, right okay I've got it in the wrong way around what a wally so there is a way that these go in so on here you can see you've got one two three four rubbers now the rubbers at the corner go in the corners and the rubbers that are on the edge go to the middle and that's how they fit in perfectly there we go right so that's it switch on and we're going to bake and i normally bake this at 180 for about 35 minutes so we're going to 160 we need to up don't need it for an hour penny my goodness okay very very sensitive i'm going to go for there you go, 36 minutes, mega zone, press start, just so that I can get it preheated. Now I've got a two pound loaf tin here that I have greased and lined. And I'm just gonna finish this. You don't want to over mix, but you need to make sure everything is combined. Now 
And that is your standard lemon drizzle cake. And what you do is you would put it into your baking tray, your baking tin. And that's exactly what I'm going to do, but I'm not putting it all in as yet. So half into our baking tray, half over my fingers. Not chasing this. Right, half into our tea, and I'm going to spread it out. to the corners and then on my top well here I've got some homemade blueberry jam and what I've done is I've put that a couple of spoonfuls of that into a pan and I've added some of the lemon zest and a little bit of juice going to do is I'm going to put this on the top layer, on top of this layer, not on the top layer. Oh, delicious. Homemade jam cannot be beaten. And as you can see, I have used one of my ninja pans and look, jam, nothing stuck. spread that over so we're going to have a secret layer of blueberries and then we're just going to top with the remaining and like I always say I'm not a TV chef, I'm going to use all of this. My pet bugbear, as you who've watched me before know, is the fact that chefs say, oh yes, this is your recipe. You do this, you do that, and then they leave half the mix in the tin, in a tin, in the uh, bowl. It drives me do lally. cake mix on my glasses because I haven't got them on, they're hanging around my neck. Right, clean-ish bowl, a very clean bowl compared to some. Clean bowl. preheated and just shut that and I'm, I will go up I will do 30 up to 35 minutes but I will check and we'll just let that cook and then we'll be back now I promised you a lemon drizzle cake and now we need to make our drizzle so I'm going to put in 100 grams of caster sugar no, granulated sugar to use the zest. I don't know what's the matter with me today, I'm not using the zest. I'm using the juice of the lemon.
these lemons are from our um, Asda and I've said about them before, they are an amazing lemon, they're a Sicilian lemon and they're unwaxed which is what you need and they just taste absolutely amazing. So what I've got to do is take out all these pips and there's quite a few so I'll do that and come back. Now that was the juice from one and a half lemons and for a standard lemon drizzle what you do is just stir this and that's fine but I'm not making a standard lemon drizzle am I? I'm doing a blueberry lemon drizzle so we are going to add in some blueberries and we're going to heat this very very gently on the hob until the blackberries just start to pop. So we'll be back and I'll show you that when it's done. Well as I hope you can see they have started to pop quite well and they have released all their natural colour and juices too so imagine what that's going to look like drizzled through the cake so that's it I can do no more until our cake is cooked and started to cool right we're cooked I actually had to turn it down to 130 because well you'll see why because and one thing I want to say is when you're taking the drawer out use the side handles like so okay so i'm going to pop that onto a um cooling rack and i'll get something else to pop the actual cake onto there's my cake I know you can't see it yet, sorry about that, but I just want to get organised. Pop that one back in. Right, and here is our cake. Now you can't see it very well, but hold on, all is not lost. Okay. You can see it's a little browner on top than I might like, but it's it's really not the end of the world. So now that is sitting on top of a cooling rack. And I have checked, but we'll just show you again, in with a skewer at an angle so that I get more of the cake. And as you can see, the skewer is clean but what I'm going to do is I'm going to poke holes all over this cake now I think I say in the recipe about 50 holes you poke 150 if that's what you want And then we get our drizzle and we're going to put half of it over now. And that delicious drizzle will soak through the holes that we've made and go all the way through to the bottom of our cake. So I've only done half, don't need to do it all. When my cake is fully cooled, I will do, oh God, it looks so good. I will do the rest. Make plenty of the liquid and make sure it's going down those holes. And now you see, 
the fact that it's a little browner on top than I might have liked, well, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because you know, I know, but nobody else needs to know, do they? Look at that. Beautiful and it smells absolutely amazing. So I will leave that as it is and we'll be back once it's fully cooled to finish the glazing. Well, the cake has had its second drizzle and I've just popped a few fresh blueberries on the top. It's out of the tin, so shall we take a look? You can see the layer of blueberry jam that I put in the middle. You can see the absolutely delicious um, blueberry drizzle. And I am pretty pleased with that, to be quite honest. Yep, I had to turn the temperature down. Yes, that in turn made the cook about 40 minutes, but I don't mind because I didn't have to heat my big oven for 10, 15 minutes before it got to temperature. So I have saved money. Now, I'm going to cut it and I'll bring you down whilst I cut it. You'll see it before I do, because I'm cutting, you're looking. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, wow, wow, and wow. How nice does that look? The, oh, I've got blueberry everywhere. The texture looks absolutely perfect oh yeah texture is absolutely perfect it's soft and springy i suppose it'd be rude not to try a piece wouldn't it so oh. let's take a bite Delicious, really delicious in case you didn't get that. Mm. Wow. Mm. Ninja. Megazone. Blueberry lemon drizzle cake. I don't mind if I do. Thank you all for watching. Let's bring you up again. Thank you all for watching. I will link the video for the lemon drizzle. And you saw what I did with the um, blueberries. You could do that with strawberries and strawberry jam, raspberries and raspberry jam. How delicious. Um, but the recipe for the cake remains the same. So, if you've liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. It really does help. If you could share on all your social media too, that would be wonderful. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you again very soon in the kitchen with Penn. Bye bye. If you'd like to see more of what we get up to in the kitchen, click here. And if you'd like to subscribe, please click here and obviously don't forget to tick that ding-a-ling stand there that ding-a-ling <laughs>